lizard fish. Ever heard of them? I didn't even know they existed until I caught these at the pier. I heard they're being found in bigger numbers than usual around SoCal piers, and I was just catching them one after the other as I thought they'd make perfect bait. I heard that they're edible though, so being ever curious, I'm gonna set aside a few of them so I can try them out and let you know what I think. There is literally a sea of these fish out there. You can see them twinkling underneath the surface just all over the place. You can see them bubbling up over there. Hey, I think I got something here. It's small, it's not huge. All right, got a couple. Let's see what we got. Yeah, we go, we got lizard fish. Lizard fish have been caught on California piers a lot actually this summer, according to the reports. All right, we got something here. Oh, we did have something. Feels decent actually. It's a bigger fish than I thought we'd catch. What is that? Oh, that's a big something. Certainly a big bait fish type fish. What is that? There you go. Whoa, 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 whoa. That is something. Nice sized. Okay, let's get it. Let's get it up here. Oh no. That was a big jack smelt. Anyways, the reason why I didn't pull up that jack smelt as fast as I could have is that at this particular pier they have this line above me and that's to prevent people from casting. Rightfully so, you don't want people casting overhead on a pier, but as a result I couldn't lift them up as quickly as I could have, so... We'll try again. Got four lizard fish. I've never caught them before until this year. Um, seem to be pretty abundant this year. Feels kind of heavy. Okay, here we go. We got four, four lizard fish. It is like lizard fish city out here right now. So many. All right, here's the take for the day. So as I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna keep most of them for bait and set aside just a few of them to try out. You can see that they're aptly named. I mean, how much does that look like a brown lizard? All right, these fish are pretty small, so after gutting them and cutting off the head, I'm just gonna dust them with a little salt and cornstarch and fry them up whole. You can see that after gutting the fish that the meat looks really great actually, pearly white, there's no stains or anything like that from the guts. It just looks like really good meat. Time to heat up the oil. Again, I'm just gonna salt them and coat them with some cornstarch. It doesn't get any easier than that. After a couple minutes, they'll start turning brown and that's the sign to pull them out. All right, here we go guys, lizard fish. It's what's for dinner. That exceeds every expectation I had on this fish. This is actually really, really good. Super crispy. The bones actually aren't an issue at all. When you fry them up like this, it just dissolves and you can't even tell that you're eating bones actually. It's just nice and crispy. Oh my God, guys, lizard fish, seriously, this is so good. You know, talking about expectations for this being good or bad, like you never hear of anybody eating lizard fish, at least I haven't. You don't see people eating it on YouTube, I don't believe, or Instagram or whatever it is. It's not on anybody's foodie blog, that's for sure. So I actually wish that I made more. That's how good it is. You put this over rice with some sauce, that's a meal right there. All right, thanks guys for watching. Please like and subscribe, I really appreciate that. And I'll see you on the next one.
All right, if you think that eating lizard fish is strange, check out this video right here where I eat fish sperm. <laughs>